Tonight we have a very special presentation honoring the 90th anniversary of this organization. And uh, before I bring this gentleman up who's going to be presenting it, I want to tell you a little bit about him. He and his team have put in a ton of work to create the presentation that you're about to see. They are a very integral part of this community. And uh, the gentleman that's going to be coming up here in a moment is named Leon Warden. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about Leon Warden, an impressive guy. He's the president and CEO of SCV TV, which is a 501c3 nonprofit operating here in the Santa Cruz Valley public television channel. Provides multimedia services to all government agencies and to the 120 nonprofit organizations that serve the Santa Clarita Valley, which is a feat unto itself and something very admirable. Let's give them a nice round of applause for serving our nonprofit organizations. <laughs> Leon's bio is very impressive, and I'm sure knowing him as I do, he would not want me to go through all of it, but let me touch on some of the high points. He's been an SCV resident since 1970. He's a graduate of UCLA and an award-winning journalist from the Associated Press, California Newspaper Publishers Association, and also the National Newspaper Association. He has awards for investigative reporting, business writing, opinion pages, and websites. He was, for a very long time, the senior editor of the Signal newspaper until 2007. He has continued to produce local television programming since 2002, and has served as president of the SCV Historical Society and chairman of the City of Santa Cruz's Newhall Redevelopment Committee, and is also a founding member, director of the Friends of Mentryville. There are a lot of other accolades on this bio that we could do, but I know that Leon's probably chomping at the bit to come up here this evening and show you this presentation he's put together. When I said to all of you here this evening that you made tonight special by stepping through the doors, I meant that you're part of a very special organization, and tonight, this gentleman's gonna show you just how special that organization is. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Leon Warden. Newhall was a dusty town, literally, when the Chamber of Commerce formed in 1923. Local merchants wanted the county to pave the streets and rip out those pesky trees that were blocking the view of their shops as potential customers whizzed by at the posted speed limit of 15 miles an hour. <laughs> the St. Francis Dam disaster of 1928 had a lasting impact. The hall where the chamber met was actually turned into a temporary morgue. After that, it was torn down and a new courthouse went in. But meanwhile, Hoot Gibson and others were putting Saugus on the map in a positive way with an annual rodeo. And then right next door, Burmite Powder Company was becoming a major employer as World War II approached. The chamber really kicked into high gear after the war when other manufacturers moved into the neighborhood like Thatcher Glass, followed a decade later, by Kaiser Century Records. Since the earliest times, the Newhall Land and Farming Company was just that, a land company that sold parcels to new businesses and a farming company that harvested crops and leased land to other farmers. All of that was about to change. In the early 60s, uh, the, the Thatcher Glass was one of the major uh, businesses, as well as Burmite Powder and New Holland and Farming. They were probably the three major businesses. And we had a big debate that year whether we could raise the dues for those major businesses to $100. And we were housed in uh, Perkins Building there on 6th Street, just off uh, San Fernando Road, or Main Street as we call it now to one of the big debates in that time was where the New Hall Saugus Chamber of Commerce left off, where Canyon Country Chamber of Commerce, you know, where the dividing line was. We ended up with the dividing line being the pipeline and for the water that came down through here from the Owens River 
And we also tried to merge with them uh, or tried to convince them we should be one chamber, but they weren't ready for that at that time. They were different. You know, I, we used to kind of laugh about it. Sir, we had our meetings at our offices and so forth, but as we used to kind of make comment, you know, a lot of our decisions were made off the backside of a pickup truck. Chamber leaders recognized the need to make political decisions at home as our valley began to suburbanize in the 1970s. Cries for local control rang loudly in 1976 when voters decided to break off from Los Angeles County and go their own way. Of course, that didn't happen because the rest of the county refused to let us go. But the seeds of self-governance were firmly planted and they sprouted in 1987 with the formation of the city of Santa Clarita. I believe, and, and a lot of people believe that um, prior to the incorporation of the city and for several years after that, the Chamber of Commerce kind of filled the void of local government in Santa Clarita Valley and, until we were able to achieve cityhood in 1987. So we had a legislative committee, we had a transportation committee, we had a lot of committees that was really looking out for the best interests of the community at the time. The Santa Clarita Chamber was made up of a lot of very fine movers and shakers in our community, which a lot of those folks were on the, the gathering of people that came together that created the city of Santa Clarita. So in 1986, we, we went through the process uh, got a petition together, had enough signatures on it, and Dennis Farnham was president of the Canyon Country Chamber. The two of us were the first two signers on the petition. We got the required signatures to, to go to LAFCO, which was the agency who granted cityhood, and started the, the petition rolling, or the process rolling at that time. I don't think there's any question uh, that the Santa Clarita Chamber, with maybe a little bit of the Canyon Country Chamber involved as well, but really had a different role in the community. Of course it was looking after business. That's their number one responsibility to the best of their ability. However, they also managed a lot of the things that today is handled by cityhood. Chamber had many fun events during the years that uh, we put on, things like SEV Dodger Night, the 4th of July Parade, which is a, a great event to this day. Teacher Tribute is another uh, baby that came out of, of the Chamber of Commerce. We even had the, the Walk of Western Stars here in downtown Newhall. So the Chamber has been like an incubator to so many great ideas and events out in this community. The city had better resources, more manpower to handle a lot of these events and they were slowly turned over to the city to, to organize and run. And I think that's been a good thing because that allows the chamber to focus on more on the small businesses and the business, the issues that affect the businessmen. After several attempts, the old Canyon Country Chamber merged with their neighbors on the west side of town. It made sense to have separate chambers back in the 60s when there were miles of dirt between Newhall and Mint Canyon. But now the new development was filling in all the open spaces and we were flying the flag of one city. It was time to unite the, businesses, the business community under one chamber. In 1995, when we actually came together, I will tell you there was a renewed effort to bring the chambers together. I was the outgoing president of the Canyon Country Chamber and, and along with our board, uh, we worked to a great extent to, with the board at the Santa Clarita Chamber, and came up with an agreement and put the two chambers together. And, and I've got to add something. I, I really believe that was the best thing that we could have done for the business community here in Santa Clarita. It was, at times, there was a lot of divisiveness amongst the board on which way we should proceed. But overall, the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber Board believed that it was important to uh, present ourselves as a unified Chamber of Commerce, as being inclusive of, of the Canyon Country area and the Canyon Country membership, and not present this as uh, a takeover. I think it was the best move for the, the Santa Clarita Valley because we became one big family. And if you notice, in other valleys, there's chambers on every corner, and our valley 
We have one chamber, one voice, and we don't have to worry about competition. We just worry about our membership and increasing our members' benefits and the values and being a voice for the businesses. I was a member of many other chambers uh, prior to coming to Santa Clarita. I found that this chamber did a lot more for me than any of the chambers in the valley that I belong to. I have planned over 300 chamber mixers in my time. It's a way for our members to increase business by networking and meeting people because people like doing business with people you know. So I've been doing the Business Expo for about 25 years. It started back and they hosted over by where Burger King was. And that was the first location. And then when I came on board with the chamber, they had moved over to Kmart parking lot. And we started the Taste of Expo that year. Currently, we have about 1,200 active chamber members, and I have a staff, including myself, of five. Uh, I'm proud to say that we are the third largest chamber in the third largest city in LA County. We're very proud that the Chamber's been in this community in some fashion or another for 90 years. We strive to stay relevant and be relevant and to work hard for you. I love the Chamber. It, it's not only been a part of me, but it's been a part of my family. It's been a part of my dad. His business was successful and his pharmacies that he owned out here was successful because of the Chamber. Uh, I feel the same way. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the Chamber. I, I've been a member now since uh, 1985 or so. Uh, I absolutely will always be a Chamber member. I know the importance and it has helped me and my business, not only through education, but obviously opportunities to meet other businesses and to interact with people and being part of this community. It's a great, great uh, organization to be a member to. The video speaks for itself, but let's give another nice round of applause to Leon Warden and his team at SCV TV for the special video presentation here tonight at the 90th anniversary of our Chamber of Commerce here in the Santa Cruz Valley.